Hi guys. So I'm going to do the BU tag. And I was sitting here doing my makeup and then I was going to go to Dollar Tree. I really don't want to go outside because it's so dang cold. Anyway, Be Who You Want 92 started a tag called Be You. And I'm sitting here doing my makeup and, uh, you know, thinking I look like a cake face. So I went and took it all off, put my moisturizer on, and uh, I have to be to work in an hour. So I thought I would do this tag, and I will link her channel description below. So these are the questions. It's about being you. So I thought I'm going to be me, like, hello. I have no makeup on, I have some pimples, I had a breakout over here the other day, some hives, I don't know. But this is me, so I'm being me. The questions are, what is the most inspirational thing you have ever heard or seen? Um, that would be my son, my son's acceptance of everyone, his ability to see good in everyone. That is inspirational. I wish I had that trait. I don't know where he got it from, but it's really nice to see in a young man. He's 14, so. And then the next question is, who inspires you most? And that would be my son, because of what I said in the first question. And he's just the most loving and accepting kid. He is. So... Number three, what is something you don't like about yourself? How can you make it a positive thing? Oh wait, back to number two. I forgot I wrote my answers on here. Who inspires you most in life? My husband also, and my son. My two boys, my two mans, they inspire me in all different ways. Okay, so back to number three. What is something you don't like about yourself? Uh, my negativity and my cynicism, um, you know, in life you have hard times and you, you get that way. Well, some people don't, but I do. And then the second part of the question is, how can you make it a positive thing? Well, I try to consciously tell myself to think positive or just make fun of myself and laugh about it, but it is a really bad habit, bad quality, something I don't like about myself. I also don't like mm, my weight and my looks. It's hard when you're getting in your 40s and 45, so you start picking on yourself. You start thinking, if I knew I was going to live this long, I would have took taken better care of myself. But when you're young, you're partying, you're staying up late, you're drinking, you're going to the clubs. Yeah, you think I'm never going to get old, but you do. And anyway, next question. What is your best quality? I think I'm passionate about all different things. Loving and giving. I like to give. I'm a giver, not a taker. I do like to receive things, but I like giving better. And thoughtful. My husband says that I'm really thoughtful. And I take care of everybody good. But that's what you do when you're a mama. Okay, so... Number five. What is something other people pick on you for or don't like about you? Hmm. They pick on me about my weight lately. And forever about my potty mouth. Uh... I work in a barber shop full of men for 29 years. Um, so if you don't get thick skin and you don't learn how to survive, then you can't be a barber. Mm -mm. Excuse me. Anyway, those are the two things, and lately it has been the weight. Uh, how do I respond? with my potty mouth. <laughs> I either respond negatively, you know, because I'm protecting myself from being attacked, or 
with some sarcasm because I'm very good at that too. Uh, or I just ignore them. So, number six. What do others say is your best quality? Uh, that I'm very caring for the people close to me. And very caring. <laughs> Number seven. Is there anything you do to keep your confidence up? Well, I watch inspirational people on YouTube. Like Be Who You Want 92. Yeah. Go check out her channel. I'll put it in the description below. Um, I do that and try to take care of myself and my appearance and tell myself how great I am every day. That I'm fabulous. Even if I don't think I am. I still say it. And if you say it enough, you'll believe it. So, anyway. Number eight. What is your best advice on how to deal with negativity? Hmm. What did I write? Oh. I wrote just ignore it, which is sometimes hard to do. Or I embarrass them and let them see how ignorant they are and make them feel ashamed for how they acted. So number nine, what is the best compliment you have ever received? My husband told me that I taught him what love was. By meeting me, he learned how to love and he learned what love really was. That's got to be the best compliment ever. And also my kids tell me that I'm, I was, am and was a good mom. Because my daughter's 25, so she's no longer at home. And then number 10 is say something inspirational. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know. Be the best you. Be the good. Be good to yourself first. Be good to yourself, and then you can be good to others. Thanks for watching. Peace out. I just want to say thank you to Jessica from Be Who You Want 92 for thinking of this tag and making me think about my answers. So, thanks for watching. Peace.